<laughs> they can hear me better down here. Our arms don't hurt as much holding the mic. Yeah. <laughs> Shots fired. How, uh, how do you feel for a guy like Bax? What do you think have to, to do with him? It's tough. Um, you know, I feel bad for him. It's he, He's been such a, a great teammate and a great friend, and um, he's had such a great career. So, you know, this is the part of the business that really sucks. Um, you know, when, when you get into numbers games and, and um, you get in situations like this, you don't ever want to see a guy get treated, uh, you know, in, in, in this kind of way. It's, um, you know, especially a guy that's, put his time in and earned his stripes and it's been such a great player in this league for a long time so um, again unfortunately that's the business side of things that is really shitty and um, but he, he's been an incredible teammate um, I can't say enough good things about him uh, he's just such a great person great friend and um, you know he's gonna be missing this room we uh, you know we relied on him a lot um, on and off the ice and and uh, he carried a lot of weight with the guys so we're going to miss him there, um, no question. Um, but, you know, we wish him all the best. And uh, Again, he, he's an incredible player, incredible teammate. And, um, we love him here. Brad, I know it's, it's, it's probably likely something's going to have to get taken care of after the season. But, I mean, what Tory does last night and just more and more he shows what a leader he is. Uh, I mean, how much does that reiterate, you know, you guys want him around for a long, a long time? Yeah, I mean, he's been a great player for our team for a long time now. Um, you know, he does so much for our group. He's... Good, uh, good two-way D man. He's obviously runs our power play, and um, you know he's a big reason why we're one of the top power plays in the league. And and, and uh, he's tough. He's not scared of anybody. He doesn't back down. Um, he plays physical. I mean, you see some hits he threw in playoffs last year, and stepping up last night. Um, you know he fought Chris Stewart before. You know he's he's a beast. So a uh, big part of our group and and uh, great teammates. So um, yeah, he's a big part of our team. We were just talking to Coach about just sort of how, you know, this there's a group like with you and Bergie and Z, guys like that, they were here in 2011. But then, you know, this younger crew obviously coming up, and he's sort of in the middle. Is he, do you see him that way too, where he's sort of the uh, bridging the gap in terms of leadership? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, every every day he's kind of taking a step forward, uh, being a leader on the team. And, um, you know, a situation like last night is, is a, another reason why he's showing that. Uh, maybe a bit of a response to, um, you know, Columbus and kind of had enough and took matters in his own hands. So, um, you know, he's, uh, again, I think he's learning that role and he's stepping into it more and more. He wants to be a leader for this group and he has been and he's going to continue to grow into that role. So it's great to see. How do you enjoy these back-to-backs with the same team, especially a quality team like Pittsburgh? It doesn't matter. It's just another game. Um, I didn't even know we were playing Pittsburgh for this Sunday morning. So, I mean, that just shows how much we really you – know, it, it, it's another game. It's another step in the season. It's a long season. So, I don't think we get caught up in who we're playing as much as how we want to play. And especially right now where we get to uh, fix a few things. I mean, you know, when we get to the game, we'll, we'll focus on them. And um, But every team in this league is good. Any team can win any night. You see that um, throughout the league with every team. So, uh, we know we have to bring our best, best if we want to win, regardless if we're playing Pittsburgh or, or Tampa or Vegas or whatever. So um, it's going to be a big game, and we're going to be ready. <laughs> you know, we were just talking about it before the cameras were on, but, I mean, your tweet this morning uh, <laughs> obviously referenced to not being able to score. But, I mean, how much is it bothering you, or is it just sort of like you got to just take it like that and be like No, I mean, I, I, you go through stints. I mean, a couple plays are rolled off your stick. I mean, that stuff happens. It's... You know, I'm confident enough in my abilities to know that um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make some plays. I'm gonna score goals. I'm gonna you know do what I have to do. Um, you know, it's just funny that it kind of happened back to back in the same week. You got to be able to laugh at it. It, it, it it's funny. You know, yeah. it, it's unfortunate, but it's funny. We won the game, and and uh, well, I mean we didn't win the first one, but um, you know last time we won. So you got to have fun with it. That's that's part of hockey. You're not gonna be perfect every night, and. Uh, Again, I mean, I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. I'm not worried about it. You gotta, you gotta have fun this time. Clearly, you've been doing other things though. I mean, you've been getting assists. You've been contributing in other ways too. How much, when you do that, I mean, how much does that sort of take off the weight of not scoring? I mean, a lot. I mean, I think especially right now with with how past some you score, you know, I'm more looking to set them up whenever I get the puck in tight. Anyway, there's a lot of times where I could shoot that 
you know, I choose to pass back door and stuff like that. So, um, you know, if I was more concerned about scoring every goal, then I'd shoot the puck every time I got it. But, uh, you know, when you have guys that shoot the puck like Pass and Berge, I just got to get it to them. So that's more what I'm kind of focused on. Um, you know, I, I'm not... I'm not going to say that I'm happy with, with missing plays, especially big plays in, in the shootout and breakaways, stuff like that. You know, that's stuff that I want to fix, but, you know, it's not going to dictate my game, and there's a lot more to it. So, um, you know, those things happen, and it's going to come. I'm not, I'm not, not, not really worried about it. So. What's, he, what's he kind of say about a guy like Pasta on that, that play to kind of give up that empty netter and feed you? Um, yeah, he, he, he's a great team player. He's very unselfish. And, um, you know, it was very unselfish play by him, and, and he, he's done that a few times. So, um, you know, it, it, it just shows his character in a situation like that. It just shows another reason why he's, he's such a great player and good teammate. Um, so, yeah, nice play. Could, could cost him last shot, Brad. Uh, he'll get.